So in the last video, I showed you guys how to install vSlice mods on Friday Night Funkin' Mobile for both Android and iOS, but it seems like a lot of Android users has run into problems actually installing the mods. So in this video, I'll guide you through a couple of scenarios on old and new Android hardware in order to show you how to install FNF mods on Android. And I'll also include a bonus scenario at the end for iPhone users who still haven't gotten the mods to work. Now, if you can't find the mod folder inside of Android and OBB, that might be because you are on an older version of Android on an older device. Right here, I got my old OnePlus 5T that's about eight years old at this point, and it is on Android version 10. And if I go into my files app here, I click on the three dots at the top, I select my OnePlus 5T. If I select Android, you can see we have two folders in here. If I select OBB and I go inside of it, you can see the only thing that we have is .no media, which is just like a placeholder file. So for, I believe it's Android 10, 11, maybe 12 and below, that's where your Friday Night Funkin' mod folder is actually gonna be inside of data. So if I select data, you can see just at the bottom here, we do have the me.funkin.fnf folder, but we have to go a couple of folders deeper into this directory in order to find the mod folder. So if I select this, we select files, we select mods, and then we are actually inside of it. So now we can actually proceed to install mods on Android. And the directory, I'll be sure to list them on screen right here. For newer devices, it's gonna be Android, OBB, me.funkin.fnf, mods. But on older devices, it seems like it has to be Android, data, me.funkin.fnf, files, mods, and then we're inside of it. So let's go all the way back out to downloads. Just like cooking shows, I've cheated a little bit and already downloaded the Spooky Mix mod. So I'll go into downloads and then I'll select the Spooky Mix. Later on in another scenario, I'll show you how to actually add these mods to the OBB or data folder if your phone is denying your access. But in this case here, I'll just hold on the Spooky Mix. I'll actually double check, I'll go inside of it, making sure that all of the weeks and all the info, all the data is actually inside this folder. So I'll hold on it, I'll select the three dots in my case i'll copy two we go all the way back to internal storage then for this older version of android we select android data then me.funkin.fnf then files then mods and then we select copy two and now it's copying one file. So we'll just give it a minute to copy. So now the file has been copied into our FNF mod directory. So now I'll just click on the home menu. I'll select Friday Night Funkin. And then when we boot it up, we should boot directly into the mod itself. And here we have it. You can hear the spooky music in the background in association with, there we are. Now we are on an older phone. So performance on this one is actually gonna be pretty bad, but I'll show here that if I go in on free play, we select the character. And then once we have the character selection screen, we can select the spooky kits. As you can see, it takes like a fair bit to load here. I select hard mode, and then let's just go down and take like a Pico mix. We'll take Philly Nice actually. Now, as I mentioned, performance on this is really bad because this is like an eight year old phone. Sometimes it takes a very long time to load the actual song or the game just straight up crashes. From my experience, this is mostly with mods because it has to access some other files. But as you can see here, we're actually inside of it. Let's say that you have already downloaded your FNF mod and you know that it's a vSlice and that it's mobile compatible and you have also installed FNF mobile and opened it at least once for it to generate the mod folders. But for some reason, you can't move the mod from downloads into the actual install folder. What I have here is a Red Magic Tennis Pro. It's a newer phone that came out this year. And in my scenario, in my case, I can't actually do that in the default files app. If I go into file manager, I select phone, I select download, and in here, you can actually see we have the spooky mix mod. And even if I go inside of it, you can see we have all the files in here. If I hold on this and at the bottom, I select copy, select copy. I go back to phone. And then at the bottom here, I do have the Android folder. But inside of this, all I can see is media. There is no way that I can see the OBB or the data folder. If I select cancel on this and I actually go back out to phone, I select Android and in here you can see we actually do have those folders. But if I select OBB, it says restricted access due to Android permission restrictions, please go to files to view specific files. 
So let's do that. I'll click view and files. And in here, you can see we actually have it. Inside of Android, inside of OBB, we have me.funkin.fnf. Well, now when we can see the folder, why don't we just try and actually move it? So if I click on the phone's names, which is NX700, I'll go back here. We'll select on downloads. Inside of downloads, once again, you can see we have the Spooky Mix mod. I'll go back, hold on it, click the three dots, copy to, we'll go back from downloads into NX7. We'll select Android. And again, I can only see the media folder. We already know that the Friday Night Funkin' mod folder exists, but we can't actually copy it inside of the default files app or the Google files app. In this case, we actually need an entirely different app that can manage files for us so we can copy and paste these files. One app that you guys have recommended a lot is something called C Archiver, which is just a fancy files explorer app. And you can get this from App Store. Just go on the Google Play Store, search for C Archiver. I'll make sure to link it in the description below so you can actually get it. But what we'll do is we'll open it. And on your first time, it will say C Archiver needs permissions to read, modify, and delete files on your phone. Now, the app only needs this permission in order for you to make these actions. The app will not change or modify anything unless you tell it to. We're only giving it this high permission so we can make the actions, so we can actually move some files around. So we'll select OK. It'll pop out, allow access to manage files. And once again, this is only so we can move the files around. Then we can uninstall this app right after if you don't feel comfortable having it on your phone, but it's on the Play Store. It has good reviews, 100 million downloads. So as long as we know what we're doing, there's gonna be no problems with it. No, some people in the last video were afraid of viruses and so on, but as long as it's on the Play Store, we're safe in this case. So I'll do allow the app to manage files. We'll click on the back button. I don't want notifications, so I'll, di I'll disallow. There's some useful tips, that's okay. Now you can see an emulated zero. We have storage device, emulated zero. That's just a fancy way to say that this is the local storage. Now, if we find the Android folder, we can go into OBB, we can go into me.funkin.fnf, and inside here, we do have the mods folder, which is perfect. Now, we have to go back to the root of our storage. So we go back here, now we're at storage emulated zero. And again, emulated zero is just a fancy way of saying this is your local storage. This is the root. This is basically on Windows. If you click on your drive, this is where we're at. So we click again on emulated zero. We go into downloads. Inside of downloads, we just verify once again. Here we have the Spooky Mix mod pack. We go back, hold on it, and then we can copy down here. It's copied, we can select the destination. And you can see in the lower right hand corner, we actually have a clipboard, which means paste for us. So once we hold on this one here and we copy it, we can then go back into storage device or device storage. We can select Android. We can select OBB for newer phones or data for older phones. So OBB, me.funkin.fnf, mods, and now we just click the clipboard. And now it's basically pasting all of our files and that is pretty fast. So now our mod is installed inside of the mod folder. So what I'll do is I'll go back outside, I'll click on Friday Night Funkin, and now it should basically load us directly into the mod itself. And as you can hear here, the spooky music is playing for us. We'll go into free play. And we'll select boyfriend. And then we can select the spooky kits. We'll change it to hard mode once again, and we'll just do MILF one more time. And here we are. And this method also works for older devices. So if you do have an Android device that's running 10, 11, 12, where the mod folder can be inside of the data folder, you can always use this to copy the files from downloads into either data or OBB to install your Friday Night Funkin' mod.
So let's say that you have downloaded and installed your mod successfully by following this guide or the previous video, but for some reason the game keeps crashing, the performance is terrible, or the mod is straight up not working. There's a couple of reasons for this. If the mod is not working, that might be because you have installed a mod that isn't vSlice or isn't mobile compatible. There's a couple of mods on Game Banana that is vSlice like Silly Billy and Mario Madness, but they aren't up to date. I tried them myself and they didn't work. So if you try to download or install your favorite mod and it's not updated yet, that's the reason why it's not working. What you can do is on Game Banana, they do have a section called vSlice Mobile Compatible. And if you download those mods, they will work on your phone. In my case scenario, I have just used Spooky Mix because that's the mod that I got successfully to work on my Android devices. Now, for some reason, if your game keeps crashing, if it's stuttering, if you can load the actual songs and if you can load the actual mod, but it keeps on breaking, that's also for a couple of reasons. One, maybe it's a compatibility issue, meaning that the mod is not up to date or the mod needs an update. Basically, you need an updated mod that works with FNF Mobile in order to play it. Or the sad truth could be that your phone isn't strong enough to handle FNF and it may be time for an upgrade. When I tried FNF Mobile on my OnePlus 5T, performance on this phone was absolutely terrible. And this is an eight year old phone that's running Android 10. So if you want to play FNF and you want to do it smoothly, successfully, you want to be able to install mods, it may unfortunately be time to get a new phone if you want to play this game with mods. So to recap for all Android users, if you can't find the mod folder, that means you are on an older version of Android, maybe you're on version 10, 11, 12, and the mod folder is actually inside of the data folder. I'll once again list the different directories here on screen so you can find them for yourself. But if you can't find the mod folder, it's either inside of Android and then you select data or OBB. And if you can't see or access the OBB or data folder, that is because of restrictions inside of your file app. If that is your case, download the C archive app that I've linked in the description below and then browse your phone storage that way. Because then when you'll select Android, then you can see data and OBB and you can easily transfer the mods that you have downloaded from the download folder into the mod directory itself. And if the mod keeps crashing or if it straight up doesn't work, that's because you have downloaded a mod that isn't a B slice it's not mobile compatible or it's not up to date yet. And if it keeps on crashing and slowing down your phone, that might be because you are on an older version of Android iOS or it may be time for an upgrade. And for our last bonus scenario, this is for iPhone users who couldn't get FNF mods to work on older versions of iOS. What I have here is my iPhone XX and it's running iOS 16.3. And just like in the Android section, I have already downloaded the Spooky Mix mod. If I go into Chrome here, you can see we have the zip file itself and we also have the mod folder. And even if I go all the way back to the start of the files app, you can see that we can select on my iPhone, we can select my browser, which is Google Chrome. Inside of it, we have unzipped Spooky Mix. I can click on Spooky Mix and inside here we have the actual mod pack. And if I go inside the mod pack, you can see we have all of the weeks and all of our music. So what I'll do is I'll go back here, I'll hold on the Spooky Mix, and what I'll do is I'll click on copy. I'll go all the way back to our folders. So we have on my iPhone, we have the folders here, and we can then click on Friday Night Funkin'. Inside of Friday Night Funkin', we can click on mods, and then we just hold on a random space. We just hold here and we select paste. And now it's in the process of pasting our files and it's basically done. And as you can see here, our files are copied. They're moved into the mods folder. So now let's open up Friday Night Funkin' Mobile and see if it's actually installed. And as you can hear, you have the spooky music in the background, just like in the Android section, because we're running this on an older phone, performance may not be up to par, but I'll just showcase that we can actually load into a song. So we'll select characters, we'll select spooky kits. I'll select on hard mode here, and then we'll scroll down and we can just do, uh, we can just do MILF one more time. MILF, and then it takes a little bit of time to load.
and that's actually a pretty good case here because now we can open it up again and actually try one more time. So the app did crash for us. And if that happens for you, let's just open it up one more time and we'll go through the same process. We'll select the kits, we'll, we'll go to free play, we'll select spooky kits and we'll open up MILF one more time. And then we'll go down and select MILF one more time because sometimes it just doesn't work. Sometimes it just straight up crashes. But if you try a couple of times, it will load up the song and it will actually play it. It crashed again. What we'll do, because if this keeps happening for you, let's actually uninstall it and then reinstall it. So if you go into files here, we'll actually just delete this folder entirely. It's pretty good that it keeps on crashing so we can showcase this. Now when it's deleted, we'll close this. We'll close Friday Night Funkin' as well. We'll open up FNF so it can just load another time without any problems. Just for like, to be safe, we'll load another song just to make sure everything is working on it. So we'll do hard mode as boyfriend and we'll just select MILF here just to double check that it's actually... So it is working on mobile. Perfect. What we'll do is that we'll close this app here. We'll go into files once again. We'll go back into Chrome. We'll go into spooky mix. We copy the spooky mix and then the same procedure. We go into Friday Night Funkin, mods, and we then hold on the... I hold on the folder and then we just click paste. Now we'll let it copy one more time and then we go into Friday Night Funkin' and we'll try one more time. So I am inside a free play. I have selected the spooky kits and just like last time we go down and we select MILF. And if it keeps on crashing, that could be a compatibility issue. I have tried this before where it actually loaded at some point, but if it keeps on crashing over and over again, which it does for me, that is a compatibility issue. So what I believe is this is actually one of the cases that I mentioned earlier that your phone isn't up to date or your phone is so old that you can't actually play modded songs on it. Because I have tried MILF multiple times and it's not working. Let's try uh, Thorns, for example. We'll open up Thorns and see if that works for us. So we can load the cutscene on Thorns. And we can also load the dialogue. If I select skip dialogue, we can actually load into Thorns. So the problem we're running into here is another compatibility issue where some songs just straight up doesn't work. So a mod itself can work, but some songs may actually result in a straight up crash. And that is how to install FNF mods on mobile on both Android and iOS. So to just recap quickly again, installing on Android is different based on the Android version that you have. And installing on iPhone is essentially the same, but depending on how old your iPhone is or what version of iOS you are on, you may run into compatibility issues. Just like I showcased earlier in my iPhone 14, I can easily play through the mod. We have no problems with that. But on my iPhone 10X, we actually run into compatibility issues when I try to play the same song. When I played MILF on my iPhone 10, it straight up just crashes. But on my iPhone 14, we can play MILF without any issues. So with this video, I hope that you guys are able to download and install your favorite mods onto your current device. But before we end the video, I'll mention something really quickly. The game is still new and we're still going to run into a couple of compatibility issues until all the mods are up to date. So if you do run into any issues, try to go through the steps one more time or let me know in the comments what your problem is and then we'll try to fix it. So with that said, thank you all for watching. Let me know if this worked for you. And with that said, I will head out.